On the faraway island of Salamabond, Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything the turtles might need. And they were all quite happy. Quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king, I'd be ruler of all I could see. So Yertle, the turtle king, lifted his hand, and Yertle, the turtle king, gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view! He could see most a mile. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow, and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house, and what's more beyond that? I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I'm the ruler of all that I see. And all through that morning he sat up high, saying over and over, A great king am I! Until long about noon he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. That's just a part of his throne. And this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Thank your pardon, King Yertle. I'm pained in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we, must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence, said King of the Turtle. The King of the Turtle barked back. I'm King and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm King of a cow and I'm King of a mule. I'm King of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about two hundred. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed in rage. And the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Matt. One after another, they climbed up the steps. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high he could see forty miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray! shouted Yertle. I'm king of the trees. I'm king of the birds. I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies. King of the air. Ah, me. What a throne. What a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle. Oh, marvelous me. For I am the ruler of all.